Wrestling fans, welcome to a special edition of TCW Tonight on a Thursday night. Fans, uh, the reason we're bringing you this episode is because, well, you know, we, we've been building up to this for three months now. We have, uh, uh, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle All the Way. Fans, they stole. Oh, what fun, they know who I am, isn't that what the Russian said? How you doing, big said. man? I'm all right. Woo! Uh, hey, you want you want to sing a Christmas carol for the fans? No, I, I think we're going to talk about wrestling tonight. But uh, thank you for the invitation. Wrestling. You know, I don't even really need this since uh, Mr. Buchanan did a, a great job, a great job of banning Rip Sawyer from this studio. Yeah, I don't think you have uh, to worry about him being here this evening. And uh, obviously, he's mad at the world, uh, including you yeah, uh, and Ivan Ali yeah. and me and uh, William Buchanan. So. Uh, Speaking, hate to cut you off. Actually, it doesn't bother me that much at all. Do you know what this studio smells like? No. Take a guess. Vienna sausages and Frank's hot sauce. Nope. Smells like December second is right around the corner, big guy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is right around the corner, fans. And uh, we've got quite the lineup, the card for you uh, on Saturday night. We're going to go over it in detail. Uh, as part of this episode of the uh, junkyard dog no. of TCW tonight. <laughs> uh, let me tell you something. I'm a little concerned about, don't step on your glasses. I'm a little They're concerned expensive. about this chain. Um, and I know what you used it for last time, but uh, not tonight, right? No, just you, a decoration. He's not even allowed here. This is just with the Christmas carols. You should be concerned. Apparently, we have the same person dressing us in the morning. Yeah. Are well, these are these not some amazing shirts? You know what, Ace? I'm gonna have to say I, I'm, I'm extremely happy that you got on your TCW shirt. Hey, uh, fans, you can get these at the show on Saturday. And also, while we're talking about shirts, not only can you purchase one of these, we're gonna have, give you the chance to uh, shop online at uh, collarandelbowbrand.com, uh, who is uh, uh, sponsoring this very episode of TCW tonight. That's right. Thank you, Al Snow. We got all different size shirts, guys. Come on out, bring your money. We got normal people sizes, and then we got uh, what you, what you, El Grande. Uh, you know what they used to say when I was a kid? Husky sizes. Husky. Husky sizes. Husky. That's what it is. All right, so fans, uh, let's start with the first match. Uh, the, the the one that comes to mind is uh, we've been talking about BS Tiger and Kalis Miller, and uh, this BS Tiger, I'm telling you something. This guy's high flying. Quick action, mm -hmm. amazing in the ring. Straight from Ghetto, Japan. Not Ghetto, don't get it confused. Not Ghetto, Ghetto, Japan. <laughs> this, this, I mean, look, I don't give too many people props. Correct. BS Tiger is is one of the, the best high flyers you're ever gonna see. This is gonna be an exciting match, and he's going against Kalis Miller. This is gonna offer us all kinds of stuff, man. We're talking hard hitting, High flying. This is going to be a good one. I, I wouldn't want to miss it. I agree. This Kalis Miller, too. I, I saw him uh, recently in Southern Virginia. And uh, let me tell you, this guy's compact, but boy, does he bring a lot of power to the ring. Yep. And, that, and that's why he's here. It's going to be a great match. We're not going to we're not gonna put no scrubs in the ring. Well, we got one in the ring, but we'll take care of that later, won't we? Uh, okay, let's talk about uh, some, something that happened this week. Uh, the Hood. Yep. Coming back. One of your monsters. Uh, versus uh, 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 James Harris. Now, that was, would be the screw-up I was in, in speaking of. Yeah, okay. So, uh, well, it's the Hood versus James Harris. In this match, uh, we saw the Hood in uh, back in July in Weir's Cave. And I'm telling you, uh, I know he's your monster, but I will give him props and say, man, this guy is an amazing uh, piece of work. Uh, you, you, you called it a match twice. It's not going to be a match, Scott. It's going to be a massacre. Okay. Uh, James Harris, I would say, be careful. Uh, that's my advice to you because... Uh, I would say, stay home, don't come. That's my advice to you. Okay, so let's go on to the next match. We have uh, uh, Black Jack Riker and Court Montgomery. Uh, again, seeing both of these guys, I, uh, I've seen both of these guys in Southern Virginia uh, in the past few months. And this Black Jack Riker, I want to talk about him uh, for just a bit. You said throwback from the past, and man, are you right. It really brings me back with the black leather chaps and things like that to wrestling when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, and this guy can actually hold up in the ring. He is absolutely an amazing talent. It's like somebody took Mulligan and Funk, and for the new, new school fans, took Bradshaw and just, just molded them together. I mean, this guy, he's coming to beat Court Montgomery up. I think, personally, Court Montgomery is all about coming out and kissing babies and shaking hands. 
he can get it done in the ring, but the fact of the matter is Blackjack's looking to take his friggin' head off. I, yeah, I agree with you. Court, this guy likes to dance, and yes, he can dance in the ring and get it done too, but he's going to have his hands full. Uh, Maybe I can play him a tune. Uh, okay, uh, easy with the chain. It makes me a little uh, a little nervous. Okay, so after that I match... I think that's some of Sawyer's blood on there. Uh, yeah, it, it very well could be. Uh, you, you opened him up that night. Man, was he not happy. <laughs> We're going to get to Rip Sawyer in just a minute, fans. Let's talk about Jordan Rogers. Top talent Jordan Rogers. You know a lot about this guy. And uh, actually went to Elkton Middle School. Mm -hmm. We've said over and over again how he uh, he's not, uh, not a big fan of the Elkton community. Uh, well, how could you be? I mean, honestly. Oh, come on. It's a nice little uh, community nestled right up against the, the Blue Ridge Mountains. Absolutely incredible place. Look, I trust Jordan Rogers' opinion. Jordan Rogers lived there. Jordan Rogers was raised there, and he says the town's a stinkhole. Well, uh, I, I can understand what he says. There is a Merck plant there that sometimes uh, there is a little smell in the town. Uh, but overall, Elkton, a wonderful community. This is what I'm saying. Jordan Rogers rolling back into his hometown, whether he wants to or not, and he's going to step in the ring against a very, very talented Franco Varga, an Air Force vet, mind you. Yeah, Franco Varga, uh, this guy is so exciting, fans. We saw him uh, also in July in Where's Cave, and this guy uh, also danced in the ring a little bit, but boy, is he a powerhouse. Yep. And it's going to be a pity. All that talent, all that fun, all that excitement is going to fall at the hands of Mr. Top Talent, Jordan Rogers. Okay, fans, I don't think I would put my money on that, but uh, Ace Dalton says he will. So um, let's go on to the uh, to the next match and, and talk about um, th this guy, the weight of the world, Corey mm. Bush. Yep. Uh, this guy is absolutely incredible. Over 400 pounds, six feet tall, can move. He's agile, very, very talented in the ring. You look back at some of the big men wrestlers, some of the greats, you're talking Bam Bam Bigelow, you're talking uh, Earthquake and Typhoon, Bundy, he's right there with him, man. Th this guy's unbelievable. And Doug Delicious, he's got a great build, very talented, been doing this for a long time. That match has the potential, in my opinion, to steal the show. It's going to be a whole hard fault one. So I, uh, we have seen Doug Delicious in action before, and uh, this guy can also, uh, is impressive in the ring and can get it done, but uh, I have not yet uh, seen Corey Bush, but I have seen on the internet a couple of his matches uh, on, on YouTube, and man, he is impressive. I will say that, and I really look forward to seeing that one in person, fans. And you can too, Saturday night uh, at Elkton Middle School at uh, seven o'clock bell time. The doors will open at six. Tickets are still available for general admission. The general admission, front row. Sold out. Sold out, fans. 62 tickets out the door. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I just can't say thank you enough for your support. Everybody that bought a front row ticket and everybody that's going to purchase a general admission ticket. Uh, so then we get to, I guess, the creme de la creme, uh, the Rip Sawyer versus... Well, now, before we get there, you, you know, you are really, really... No wonder he doesn't like you. You, you, you call him names. You completely overlook his match. Does the name Joseph Petrov not mean anything to you, Stevens? I was going to talk about that one last, but okay, we can address oh, uh, that now. I'm sure you were. So the Russian sure dream. We'll do that. Russian dream and Joseph Petrov. Um, you know how I feel about these guys, fans. Uh, I, I believe they're bullies, and they're uh, they're going to have their hands full with WWE Hall of Famer Nikolai Volkov. That's right. In action in Elkton, Virginia. It's, it's going to be a good match, and you're be lucky. If the Russian Dream and Joseph Petrov don't don't grab you by the collar and shake you around a little bit the way you're acting. Listen, uh, the referees will uh, be happy to make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, these guys... Um, I wouldn't trust Flip Owens as far as I can throw him, and I'm pretty sure I can't pick him up. Well, uh, I, I, I do trust uh, I trust the referees. So uh, I'm going to... I feel I'm going to be protected. They know better. They know WD3 might act and find, find them. Look what he did to Rip Sawyer. Uh, so anyway, you got the Russian Dream with Joseph Petrov. Uh, versus Nikolai Volkov. And then, now we'll get back to the creme de la creme, excuse me. Um, uh, Rip Sawyer versus Ivan Ali with this guy right here at ringside. <laughs> you saw Ivan, uh, 6'8", uh, 295. This guy is impressive. 
Did yeah. you need a neck massage at the end of the night when you were done looking up at that monster? I, I have to say, my neck did get a little tired doing this, just checking out that piece of work. Yeah. I bet you your neck felt better than Rip Sawyer's head did. That, that is true, fans. Uh, he was opened up courtesy of that chain right there and you. Uh, don't know that I agree with it, but I will say in this instance you were defending yourself. Uh, Rip attacked you first. Yep, as he always does. You see, there's a thin line anymore between good guy and bad guy. Good versus evil. Let me clear it up to everybody out there. Ace Dalton is the good guy. I don't know what else I have to do to prove it. This maniac is, is in need of medical help. There is something I gave the warning signs for dementia, and you got to admit those six warning signs fit Rip Sawyer to a T. All right, let me step in here and just say, fans, this guy is a Maryland Hall of Famer, so we know his past. He can get it done. Now, I, I, I have seen and witnessed what happened in July between you and Rip Sawyer. I have seen what happened on TCW Tonight the first time when you couldn't recall what happened in July and he showed up and opened you up. Uh, and then I have seen recently what happened with Ivan Ali and, and, and Rip Sawyer and you, and you opened him up. Uh, so I have witnessed it all. I don't know good or bad. I know he is intent on one thing, and that's getting his hands on you. Well, good luck, pal. Yeah, he'll have his hands full, that's for sure. So uh, Maryland Hall of Famer Rip Sawyer versus Ivan Ali with Ace Dalton at ringside. Fan, that's the card. Uh, what else do we have going on? We'll have an intermission where everybody can get uh, wrestlers' autographs yeah. to get some pictures. and We're, we're going to have a meet and greet, like you said, photographs, autographs. We're going to have food. We're talking hot dogs, sodas, chips. Vienna sauce? <laughs> Shut up. We're going to have a great, great time. And you know what? <coughs> How about we do this? I'm going to offer a reward. A reward? A reward. Anybody that night that can locate Blackie Garrison in Elkton Middle School will get $50,000. How does that sound? <laughs> Listen, I, I, uh, I was going to ask you about that, Ace. Uh, Rip has mentioned Blackie Garrison. We've seen, uh, we've seen something on, uh, on, on Facebook about it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I've seen that you think it's uh, maybe a figment of his imagination. That I don't think. I know. I mean, Scott, do you really think there is some mythical garrison that roams the planet to make sure that the garrison family is safe, that will get them out of trouble? There is no thing or no body that is going to be able to stop what my monster Avon Ali does to Rip Sawyer. Real or fake? It doesn't matter, Scott. Fans, he sounds sure of himself, and I can't say I disagree with him. Uh, Rip will have his hands full. And uh, so what we want to remind you is don't miss this opportunity to see a live wrestling show in Elkton, Virginia. Whether you live in Shenandoah, Grottoes, Harrisonburg, Weir's Cave, Stanton, Waynesboro, it doesn't matter. Please make the trip to, Her I mean, to Elkton and, uh, and visit the Elkton Middle School Saturday at 7 o'clock bell time, 6 o'clock the doors open. Plenty of general admission tickets available. And, uh, and we will be doing some live broadcast uh, on Saturday right on our Facebook page so you can keep up with what's going on throughout the day and then come to the show that night. That's right. One thing I want to say, wrestling fans, I'm going to lay it out straight for you. The success of TCW depends on you guys. You guys come out, you enjoy the show, respect the product, tell your friends, tell your family, and keep coming and coming, and TCW will keep going and going. I think that's a great point, fans. We will keep bringing you the great things that you expect out of TCW tonight and uh, the live shows. So all this will continue to happen as long as you support us and that you want it to happen. So thank you. Until Saturday, we'll see you, fans. Anything else for you to say? I don't think so, Scott. I think I've covered my bases. Everything that needed to be said has been said. I just say... Get yourself to Elkton Middle School. Doors open at 6 o'clock. Bell time 7. This is going to be a good night, man. You're free to go Christmas, Carol. Good night, fans. Thank you. <laughs>